Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 5, chapter 8, lesson 1, fractions and division. Page number is 551. Guys, first of all, you have to understand that what are fractions. Fractions are the part of a whole number, equal parts of a whole number. Let's say you have 1. You will not say it's a fraction. It is a whole number, a complete number. But when you divide this 1 into equal parts, okay, and any of the part is missing. Let's say you just have 3 parts. When you divide that one whole into four parts and out of four you just have three how we write the fraction the denominator shows us the total number of parts and the numerator shows us that how many parts you have or it depends you need according to the question they can ask that how many parts are shaded or how many parts are unshaded for shaded you will write three for unshaded you will write one like that okay now, the number up in the fraction is known as the numerator and the number down in the fraction is known as the denominator. You can write your fraction in this way also, the division way. One third is also equal to one divided by three. Got it guys? It actually means that you are dividing one into three. Here, you are dividing three. 4 3 divided by 4 got it guys okay now first example here Dylan, Greg and Jed are sharing two small pizzas equally after their lacrosse game how much does each person get <coughs> so there are three people and they are sharing two pizzas so you will cut each one into three parts and each will get one part from first pizza and one part from the second pizza so the denominator shows you the total number of parts, the total number of parts are 3 and the numerator shows you that how much each will get. So 2 pieces, so 2 over 3. You are dividing 2 pizzas into 3 persons, 2 over 3. Okay, and this number lies in between like each one, each person will not get 0 pizza. And not even one whole. He will get some, but not one complete. So this fraction lies in between 0 and 1. Let's move to the next page here. Ray and Billy, they are sharing three brownies equally. So each one will get one and one, and from the third one they will divide it. So each one will get one and a half. One and a half. And this number lies in between 1 and 2. It's more than 1 because 1 and half also, but less than 2. Okay, here. Two bags of bird seeds are used to fill three bird feeders. How much bird seeds does each feeder use? So there are two bags. And we want to fill three feeders. So each one we will divide into three parts. So two feeders and three, sorry, three feeders and two bags. We want to divide two bags into three feeders, two over three. Okay, here now, this one. Four families equally share five pies. So there are five pies we want to share into four families. Now if you see this fraction, the numerator is greater. When the numerator is greater, we call that fraction improper fraction. When the numerator is smaller than the denominator, we call it proper fraction. But when the numerator is greater, like this one, numerator is greater than the denominator, that is improper fraction. So in that case, we make the improper fraction, we convert the improper fraction into a mixed number. This one is a mixed number. You see this is a whole number and this is a fraction. 
So when you have a whole number and a fraction together written, we call it mixed number. So whenever you have an improper fraction, like the numerator is greater, you convert it into mixed number. How you convert it into mixed number, guys? You check that how many fours you can take out from five. You can take out one four out of five. The how many denominators you can take out from numerator? Okay, one. So one here. If you take out one four from five, what left behind? One. That remainder one here. And the denominator, same as it is. So each family will get one whole and one over four of a part. And the number is in between one and two. Similarly here, see this guys, six over five. Again, improper fraction, numerator is greater, we'll convert it into mixed numbers. How many fives you can take out of six? One. If you take out one five from six, what left behind? One. And the denominator same as it is. Again, the number is in between one and two because it's one whole and sum from the two, but not equal to two. So it's in between one and two. 40 over nine. How many nines you can take out from 40? Nine times four, 36 here. Four nines. And if you take out four nines from 40, means 36, what left behind? Four. And the denominator, same. This time it is four whole and something from five. This fraction from five. So in between four and five. Next page. Dumont used four gallons of gasoline in three days driving to work. Four over three. Again, how many three you can take out from four? One, remainder one over three. Uh, Suzanne made two gallons of punch to be divided into ten people. Now, this is proper fraction. Numerator is small. So, you check that. Is it in the simplest form? Can you simplest form mean guys that if you can divide it or not by the same number up and down. So if you see the fraction, you can divide it by two up and two down, which will give you one over five. Right? So one over again. This is the simplest form. Thirty loaves and twelve storage. How many 12 you can take out from 30? 2. Remainder 6 over 12. And then you will simplify it. To simplify, divide by 6 up, divide by 6 down. So 2 whole, 1 over 2. Similarly, this one. Uh, they want the product of 7 over 8 by 8. 8 times 7 over 8. When you we multiply a whole number with a fraction, you only multiply with the numerator. 8 times 7, 56 over 8. See, again, improper fraction. How many 8 you can take out from 56? 8 times 7, 56. So 7. And no remainder. Similarly, this one, the last question. I hope you guys understand the lesson. If you really understand, guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.